mahi for dinner tonight. How about that? <laughs> Got a new video for you today. We're gonna head out and do some mahi fishing. What do you think about that? Very exciting. Sophie needs revenge on her mahi after our tuna episode. She lost that big mahi and ever since then she's just been sick over it. So. I didn't notice how big it was until <laughs> I watched the video. <laughs> she, yeah, she saw the video later and was like, I didn't realize how big it was. So we're going to go get her that big mahi today, right? Hopefully bigger too. Bigger and, and more. a lot more. A lot more. <laughs> so beautiful morning. It's flat calm out here and we're ready to go get some bait hopefully and get some mahi in the boat. How's that sound? Sounds good. Yeah. So today we got some other family members joining us too. We got my lovely cousin Jesse from Contender Boats with us today. Hello. And we got my dad with us today, captaining the boat. Here we go. You ready to get some fish? Tear them up. <laughs> and my mom back here. We're all, we're all ripping our wind down shirts. I got my wind down shirt on and so does mom. Turn around, we'll see the back of that. There we go. I think Sophie's got hers on too, right? I do. Sophie's rocking the blue colorway today though. It is flat calm out. We're heading out of the cut right now. And we heard there's some bait in the area, so we're gonna take a look and see if we can find any of that. And then head out and get to the mine. All right guys, we just got out here. About 700 feet of water, found a nice little edge of the rift. And uh, we're seeing some flyers. We have really, really nice blue water. Um, trying to stay out of that green stuff. Sometimes the mahi don't really like that. Um, so we've got good water. Beautiful day out. We're gonna get some baits trolling and uh, see what we can do. We got the green skirt on this one. What color do you think today is gonna be our our money skirt? I'm going green on this guy. I'll go pink. What do you think? So today we got something cool to try out. Friends over at Sea Sucker sent us this uh, fillet table to test out a little bit. We've always had the problem. We usually put our fillet table here in this center rod holder, but then we have trouble getting at our live wells, opening them up. It's always in the way. So I figured the Sea Sucker suction cup mount on the door back here would be the perfect spot for it. So hopefully that solves our issue of being able to get in and out of stuff. When you're in the mahi, you don't want to be messing around with opening up live wells and having to pull the table out and all that. You want to be able to get your bait and get it quick and be effective as possible. So we're going to see if that helps us out today and do some product testing. So we're excited to, to work with them. They've also helped me out a lot too on the days when I'm out here filming by myself. I don't have extra hands like I do today. Um, with the GoPro mounts and the camera mounts, all their offerings are just awesome. So we're huge fans of Sea Sucker and we love the stuff that they do. And we're excited to try out some new stuff for them. All right, we're going to put out our shotgun bait here put it out on the spinner put that straight out the middle all the way back all right guys so we've been trolling for a pretty long time without seeing much of anything and out of nowhere first rod goes off Sophie picks it up it's a nice little mahi to the boat and if you've ever been mahi fishing down in the Florida Keys you know that once you get one the rest aren't far behind. Soon after my dad hooked up to his and from there was just a frenzy. They were all around the boat. People were running all over. Sophie's grabbing the camera from Jesse while Jesse was filming. She went to go fish. My mom gets one. I'm throwing out live chummers to keep them around. My dad's got his in the water to keep that school interested and occupied because once you pull all the fish out of the water sometimes they won't stay so it's always good to keep one in once we hooked up to another one i grabbed his fish flipped it in got it on ice and we were in the middle of it there's blood all over the place rods everywhere untied fish are busting at the surface next to my mom's and this is what you look for when you go mahi fishing just full-blown mahi frenzy chaos they are everywhere. 
<laughs> we're in them finally. We're in them. It worked hard to get here. We have worked hard all day trying to get in these things. And finally, we're in a good school of them. There we go. Keep getting that laid out. This is the Mahi frenzy that you dream of when you come out to do this stuff. And I'm already just like that. There we go. There we go. Watch out. There's a big one there. Yeah. Just keep, make sure there's always a line or a beat in the water. I'm gonna pull mine in. I have one. to the boat just wait till they see it oh and there he comes boom and he got it smoked it nice one. good size one <laughs> doesn't get better than that let's go I'm gonna leave this guy in the rod holder so we can get on some other ones and run I gotta retie there's so much going on. There's a lot going on. This is dolphin fishing 101 because when you get in them like this, That's a good one. they are hot. He likes. Here's another one. Blood all over the lens. Oh, here comes one. And, he ate it. and so Sophie just got picked up. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Run around and run around. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. Come on. You're getting your Whoa. Mahi revenge. Let's bring that guy back there this way. Go. On this side and we'll flip him right in. He's going up. What do you think of this, so? This is really fun. Yeah, it is. Definitely an easier fight to get to the tuna. Yeah. At least for me. A little less painful. This is a little more enjoyable, right? Yeah. I feel bad for the guy who has to wash the boat and clean all these fish. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> this is what you dream of when you think of mahi fishing in the Florida Keys. Flat calm days, electric blue water, fish jumping everywhere, and that's why so many people come down to the Keys every year to do exactly what we're doing today. And it's just special to be able to do it with your family and everyone's hooked up all around the boat and it's just an awesome time and something we all love doing together. And, and these are memories that I'll cherish for a lifetime, just being able to be down in the Keys and fishing with my family. Ready. Mahi for okay. dinner tonight, how about that? Lots of it. Beautiful. Okay guys, another important thing you gotta do when you're out here doing this stuff, it gets crazy. So, you're throwing fish in the box, a lot of stuff's happening. Fortunately, we've caught a lot, so we have to make sure that we're still within our limit, so we gotta check how many we have. You don't wanna be over, and you have dead fish, it's always better to check before you get to that point. Um, so we're just gonna do a little assessment of how many fish we got in the box here, and see what we got. So It's also kinda fun seeing what we got. So we got one, two, and lucky number 13. So we are still plenty good. Got a good amount, 13 mahi. Nothing to complain about, for sure. Okay, so you're finally hazed into the dolphin madness. Yep. How was it? Very hectic. First I mean, if time. the blood on our shorts and our clothes doesn't tell you anything. I mean, it was a bloodbath back there. It really was. Just Fish covered. coming in every single side of the boat. We were tossing them in, trying to get them in the ice. Possible. That's what it is though. I mean, it's it's even more fun too, like coming out with the whole family and like having my dad film. It's kind of cool and 
mom Jesse being here like everyone's a part of it everyone's hooked up yeah. there's people running around throwing baits in the water like everyone has their own job that they're doing everyone you definitely have to be patient yeah I think everyone took turns filming today which is kind of funny so we'll see what comes out of this but hopefully we got some good stuff but it'll you know it's just that's dolphin fishing at the end of the day that's just what it is it's just awesome family fun for everybody I think I got him this time. <laughs> monster triple tail. It's a good size one, I'm not gonna it's lie. It's a monster triple tail. That's the cool thing about Mahi fishing out here and you're finding debris. You can always find a triple tail sitting up under something. This is like a little foam board or something, but they fight good. They're great eating. If this guy's legal, he would be a great addition to our fish tacos tonight, but we gotta see if he's the right size first. He may be legal. It's gonna be close. That is a oh. monster triple tail, man. Oh, oh. That one almost bad. That is just a prehistoric monster right there. They call them a triple tail because they have these three it says fins tail. on the back like that. 15 to the tail, two a day. It's 18 now. Oh, it's 18? Yeah, yeah, it's old stick. Beauty, man. Beautiful fish. Alright, let's see if he's gonna be legal. I don't think so, but he actually is fully legal. 19. That is perfect. Sweet. Got ourselves some more dinner. Can't complain with a good sized triple tail. Super glad this guy's legal. We're gonna get him in the box with the rest of the mahi. And got a little variety today. These are super, super clean white meat. They're almost like a snapper, a hog snapper, or a grouper. Um, but they are super tasty, so they make great fish tacos along with some mahi, a little variety. So we're gonna get them in the box. Right, guys we're getting back in after a very successful day parking the boat and we're gonna clean some fish up and get ready for dinner start cleaning up some of these mahi I'm gonna show you kind of the two different ways that you can go about doing it so I'm gonna show you guys the two different ways people like to clean them um, more or less the same way but it mostly has to do with the skin so the first way I'm gonna show you is just the normal way of filleting any other fish. We'll start there towards the head, work our way down the spine, just like that. Turn it around, come here on the other side, just like that. This is a typical way that I would clean just about any fish, and tried and true method, nothing wrong with it. Just like that, we have our fillet, normal, with the skin on. So, the other way that people like to do it, this is my way that I prefer to do it because this next method that I'm gonna show you is faster in a lot of cases, but I'm gonna show you why it may not always be the best thing to do. So we're gonna do the same thing, same way we're gonna start up at the top, come down the fish, I'm just gonna make a small incision just enough to cut through the skin. Back there, come down the belly. Same exact method, more or less. But this way, which a lot of people, you know, you catch, you catch a bunch of dolphin a day and you don't just feel like cleaning all of them one by one. So some people will take the skin I'm doing here and just rip it off. So it saves you all that time of having to de-skin the fish. These are great for catching tarpon off the dock. Fish love them, sharks love them. They make good bait. But the reason I don't really prefer to do it that way is because it leaves this like kind of fibrous residue on the filet. It just doesn't taste as good to me as to where if you skin it correctly, like the first method, 
I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. Going down like you'd skin any other fish pretty much. And that way we have a clean backside of our fillet. And we're gonna remove the bloodline, you just take these two sides, but you leave all that nastiness on the skin. So if you look at them, this is the backside of each fillet. That one's got all that junk on it and this one's nice and clean, so. Just a food for thought, I mean, if you're gonna be frying them, making fish tacos like we are, it's not the end of the world to have this stuff on there, but at the end of the day, if you have a really nice dolphin or something, you wanna make a nice, you know, mahi sandwich or a nice, just big piece of mahi to cook up, sauteed, maybe you wanna clean them like that next time, so. Just food for thought, but either way, whatever's gonna get them in the table the fastest because we're hungry and we're ready to eat them, so. I'm gonna finish up the rest of these guys and we're gonna get up to the kitchen. All right guys, so we're back in the kitchen now. Long day, it was exhausting. Yep, I uh, had to come back yeah. and shower and get dinner ready. Nice and cleaned up, yeah. Clean the boat, clean the fish, so we're ready to go. We got our mahi and we got our triple tail here. Um, we'll start out with a piece of each. We made sure to get these all dried up and patted down. And what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna cut these into little strips and we're gonna put them in our egg wash here. And then in here we have a bag of our batter, which is half cornmeal and half flour. So that's kind of the ratio that we like to do. We add a little salt and pepper, garlic salt seasonings to that. And then they're gonna go into the fryer and we're gonna fry them up in the cast iron there. And after that, it's just topping central, whatever you like. I like mine with salsa verde, a little bit of cheese, some onions, cilantro, but you can, do them up however you like, but that's just kind of our thing. So we'll kind of run you through how we do it and get to eating. Okay, so we're gonna start with the triple tail here. Have to cut half the filet off, kind of like that. And we make just little, I don't know, nugget sized pieces, little strips, about finger length, kind of like that. And I'm gonna start the assembly line with Sophie here. So I'm just gonna start dropping these pieces in there and she's gonna, Get those, she needs a fork actually, go grab a fork. Can we shake them, right, in the bag? Yeah, we're gonna put a bunch in there and then the trick is you just shake the bag up all at once and it coats them all perfectly instead of individually doing every single piece, you kinda just throw them all in together and that seems to be the best way that I've found to do it. I will say that fish tacos are one of my favorite meals and especially when it's fresh fish, it's just, Whole it changes level. the game, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially making them at home, catching your own fish, having freshly made salsa verde. What more could you ask for? That's how I got in with Sophie's parents. They didn't like me much at first, but I had to bring them fresh fish and then they couldn't resist, right? That's not true, <laughs> at all. <laughs> they love you anyway. Hey, but when you come with fish, it doesn't hurt. I mean, yeah, they do get happy. They get excited for the fresh fish. Because, like I said in one of our earlier videos, I didn't grow up doing this. Yeah. So, we never had fresh fish dinner as fresh as this. Yeah. So. While Sophie's working on that, we got the freaking man over here working on his tortilla game. Doing the easy stuff. Doing the easy stuff. <laughs> hey, it's the teamwork that makes the dream work. Those are looking good. You got a lot left to go, though. You're mixing them up, a little white, a little yellow. Yeah, a little, a little flour, a little corn. You want flour? Oh, you don't have any... corn. Oh, both corn, okay. Yeah. I like corn myself. I, know I prefer flour. Okay, we got some. Wow, you might heard be... that loud and clear, didn't you? Oof. No, it might be unpopular opinion, because I know a typical taco is with a corn tortilla, mm -hmm. and it's not that I don't like it, but if there's a flour one, I prefer it. Okay. Yep. Don't mess with Sophie and her tortillas because <laughs> just, just not, just don't do it. Taking a little break from the kitchen for a minute to check out this view, man. Nothing like it. Sunsets in the Florida Keys are just a different feeling. Everybody's hanging out. We got boats hanging out here, getting ready to watch the sun go down. The tiki bar, but we have our little slice of paradise here and we're heading back in. You still working on those? Yeah, it's kind of hard to find them. Once they're all coated in this bag, yeah. you kind of just got to pick around for them. 
All right, time for a taste test. Very excited to try that. Me too. And a little taco cheers. Taco cheers. Mm-hmm. Nothing like that, guys. Wow. My favorite, probably my favorite all-time fish dish is fish tacos. And fresh mahi and triple tail, same day, just cleaned them. Gonna get better. Good as it gets. As good as it gets. So it's a beautiful day out here. Had an awesome time today. We got Sophie her mahi that she was looking for after that last video. Finally. Finally. But we we just couldn't be more thankful for you guys following along. Appreciate you guys watching the videos, checking them out, and uh, we're having a lot of fun making them. So make sure you guys just stay tuned and hang around for the next one, right? There's a lot of cool things coming. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. So appreciate you guys. Thanks. Bye.